Wintertime, snow, freezing cold temperatures outside. Let's stay inside. Let's cozy up. Let's make beef stew. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. Welcome to Struggle Meals. It's winter time, and that means it's time for things that cook low and slow. It's time for stew. We can take an affordable cut of meat with a lot of connective tissue and break it down in a Dutch oven over the course of many, many hours. We've got some pieces of chuck here. I'm hitting it with some salt, I'm hitting it with some pepper, and I'm gonna go with a little bit of flour also. That's gonna enable more browning and make sure that we have a nice dry surface so we can sear these. Going with a high smoke point oil here. Definitely want a fair amount. Perhaps you're noticing my brand new pan. This is called a Dutch oven. It's thick, durable cast iron. It's affordable. It'll last a generation. Highly versatile pan. When we're getting a good sear, all the natural sugars inside are caramelizing and they're turning brown and they're adding flavor that wouldn't be there otherwise. It's something that I like to call FO, flavor opportunity. We got some beef tallow rendering out here. Onions first. A little bit of salt help the moisture come out of the onions. We've got some celery here. Uh, celery, onion. We're gonna add some garlic also. Garlic going in, and the celery. Flavor opportunity, pepper. Flavor opportunity, salt. Here comes some thyme. Thyme gives you that woody, amazing flavor. Beautiful. This is the moment where we can add some deep, rich flavor in the form of tomato concentrate, tomato paste. And I've always been a fan of it in the tube because I can put this back in the fridge now and I don't need to use a whole can of it. And now we can hit some wine. It's gonna do so much more awesome stuff in here than in my glass. So that's why I'm doing this here. From this point forward, no more brown caramelizing things are gonna happen. But what does happen is it deglazes the pan. Anything that was stuck to the bottom is now released. That's flavor inside. When it starts getting round and fantastic, the alcohol is burned off. And when that's happened, we need that round flavor down at the bottom. And that is why we always drop the stock. This is beef stock, and it gives us that big round note at the bottom, much like a bass, which is why we drop the stock. It's a musical analogy. Let's add our beautifully seared beef pieces back in. Now that this is boiling, we're gonna put the top on and stick it in the oven. That way, the heat is hitting the pan from all sides. The oven's better. It's more even. It's more delicious. 325 degrees for about an hour and a half. And while that's happening, I'm gonna prep some more veggies. But it's not just potatoes and carrots, no. We're adding rutabaga today, which is a cross between a cabbage and a turnip. You could use beets, you could use Brussels sprouts, you could, honestly, cabbage would be good in there. <laughs> smells terrific. We're not quite done yet. Now's when it starts getting a little thicker. We have these vegetables that'll cook a little more quickly. They're gonna stretch out and make the whole thing even heartier than it already is. Turn it over a little bit. Let's get this back in the oven for a final half hour of cooking. Low and slow. Nice and tender. Mm, aromas of love. Lift from the legs. It's the moment of truth. Oh, the aromas are so good. Beefy and carroty. The wine is playing a featuring role. Let's plate it up, let's taste it. Hup. Very nice. To the herb garden. Don't forget. It's really, really silly to buy a bunch of parsley for a dollar or two dollars. I really think that you should grow them. And parsley, it's gotta be one of my favorite wintertime herbs. It's fresh, it's bright, which is perfect for stew. At this point, my seasonal sadness is, you know, suppressing my mood. But what will happen when I try the beef stew? Mmm. Mmm. My mood is elevated. Mm. Guys, this is delicious. It's simple. It's $2.74 a serving. It will lift you from your winter blues, and we added so much flavor by searing the meat and using some couple-day-old wine. Don't skip those steps. It's got everything we need. Texture, flavor in spades, and a low-cost cut of beef that's stretched by a whole bunch of vegetables. This is delicious. It's simple, it's fantastic, and it will banish the seasonal sadness to the side. 